The Dexter Factor is in the building! Uh, hello? Hey, where's the cake and dancing girls? Someone said there was a party for me in here. What are you guys watching? Oh, I get it. You want me to do some of that cool star commentary like the big boys do on all those special edition DVDs. Is this thing on? And now, fellow peeps and cronies, I present to you, in full Dexter Round sound, the legend of Orange Lightning! And his less important hardly involved sidekick, Jack. That's Jack. Kinda scrawny, huh? And that incredibly handsome guy is me, back when I had pants. As you can see, I was a happy lad. Before Jack talked me into going to that stupid Misty Island. What are we doing here anyway, Jack? This place gives me the creeps. Eek! What is that dark ooze? It sure don't look friendly. <sighs> the sage yaps on about the precursors that built this place all the time. Where did they go? Why did they build this crud? Now I like precursor orbs and power cells as much as the next guy. But if you ask me, they must have been real losers. Wow! How did you do that? I think we're in trouble! Huh? Man, that stung! I told you we shouldn't have come here, and you listened! What? I'm fine. I'm fine. As you can see, I handled it quite well. Once I calmed Jack down, we went to see old Evergreen Samos the Sage about turning him back into my old gorgeous self. What in green tarnation do you two want? We, we, we was, they was, I, I was... Don't tell me. Instead of heeding my wisdom, the two of you went mucking around at the only place that I told you not to go. Misty Island. That's right. And then we... And, Daxter, you finally took a much-needed bath, but in a bathtub filled with dark eco. Look, old man, are you going to keep yapping or are you going to help me out of this mess? I'm going to keep yapping because, in my professional opinion, the change is an improvement. And besides, I couldn't help you if I wanted to. What? There's only one person who has studied Dark Eco long enough to have a chance at returning you to your previous form. Gal Acheron, the Sage. But he lives far to the north. Far, far to the north. Yeah, right! If I had known what we were about to step into, I would have gladly stayed the village mascot. Just to get out of Sandover Village, we had to help this bunch of pathetic losers. <laughs> your village needs you! This guy couldn't find his pants without help. Ah, oh, pants. You think you could help an old man? Little furry dude! Isn't that cute? I can't seem to catch a single fish in this river. Maybe it's your breath. Well, at least they gave us stuff. Jack did all the grunt work while I collected the power cells. <laughs> Suckers! We needed enough of these things to get through the fire canyon on my main girl, Kira Zuma. Hey, baby! What do you say you and I go cruising on this A-Grav Zoomer? Rule number one, I don't date animals. Ah, uh, you don't know what you're missing. <laughs> she couldn't resist me. At last, we reached Rock Village where Samos' buddy, the Blue Sage, had vanished without a trace. It seems this ugly monster had been terrorizing the village by pelting it with huge boulders, and the people were even more pathetic than in our village. You two look like a couple of capable fellows. Will you help me out? Well, what are you waiting for? This battle's getting itchy. Oh, my aching head. I thought that's one of your vital organs. 
Walk it off, tough guy! Kira used some of the power cells we collected to raise a large boulder, and we were on our way to face that monster menace! Wait! Uh, I'll stay here and protect Kira. Jack, I think you're ready to handle that monster without me. Oh, really heroic of you. This call for... I took out that Halitosis Challenge Neanderthal, everything was looking great. And of course, that's when all hell broke loose. Holy yakow! The Red Sage's lab looks worse than the blues. Well, it definitely looks as though there's been a struggle here. <laughs> I'd hardly call it struggle. Would you, dear sister? Certainly not. The Red Sage gave up with so little effort. No fun at all. Gull? Is that you? What have you two done with the blue and red sages? Don't worry about your colorful friends. You old fool. They're perfectly safe in our citadel. <laughs> I didn't let this little setback get me down. We had work to do. We battled spiders, abominable lurkers, and just when I didn't think it could get any worse, we had to deal with these two rocket scientists. Recording. Uh, I think we got visitors. You think, Willard? After a lovely romp through the lava tubes, my little hottie surprised us with the good news, I mean, the bad news, that old greenie had been pruned. Where's old short, green, and wrinkly? This is terrible. Father is missing. I think Gaul and Maya may have kidnapped him as well. Relax, sweetheart. I got everything under control. Under control? Lurker armies continue to grow across the land. The sages have been kidnapped. Gaul and Maya have gathered enough eco to complete their terrible plan. And to stop them, you're going to have to fight your way through their citadel. Uh, yeah. That about uh, sums it up. You've got to rescue my father before it's too late. And Jack, be careful. Yeah, we will be. Clearly, the stress of the moment was getting to Kira. All he had to do now was rescue old Greenbones himself and his colorful friends. As if these blabbermouths deserved it. Who would have thought I'd live to see the day when I needed to be rescued by a boy and his muskrat? Hated him! Uh, I will try to actuate the shield door by eliciting a conduit of energy Hated him too. in the vast portal below! Uh, yeah. You do that. What are your names? I'm Daxter. He's Jack. He's with me. You're a real hero, Daxter. Now that was a smart fellow. <laughs> Although he did scare me a bit. Next in line for saving was old Green Jeans himself. You two late save us. And to think you two traveled all this way for my help. Fools! Enjoy your fun roastings to the recreation of the world! Take the elevator up and stop that robot! Oh, great! I get to help the guy that turned me into a furball destroy the only person who can turn me back! You can only push an Otzel so far! I opened up a can of orange puree whoopers on Gaul and Maya and this stupid precursor robot! Finally, those silly Rainbow Sages made themselves useful by combining their powers to make something that could stop this dark eco-menace. Light Eco! It does exist! Light Eco! That could be the stuff to chain me back! Or, it might stop that robot. Hmm. Stay fuzzy, save the world. Choices. Okay, fine! 
will save the world. But do it quickly before I change my mind. And with a heroic stature taller than my height might suggest, I made a choice to save the world instead of changing back. And it wasn't a smart one. I'll let Jack take this one. Do something! Of course, my girl was worried sick about me. But no worries, my dear. Booyah, baby! Orange Lightning 100, Stupid Robot Zero! Looks like those breakdance lessons at the Y really paid off for the Jagman. Well, it looks like I may have been too hard on you boys. You do have what it takes to be heroes. But Daxter, now we can't change you back. Don't worry about me, baby. You know what they say. Big things come in small packages. Right, Jack? I said, right, Jack? Wow! Put it on ice, big guy! She was obviously trying to make me jealous. Yeah, right, Toots. And then we found it! After working our butts off in this adventure, after collecting every stinking power cell in this entire crazy world, clawing my paws to the bone, we got... That's right. Drum roll, please! Absolutely nothing! Zippo! Nada! Wow! What is it? It's so beautiful. By the precursors. Hello! That sucked! That sucked! I'll send you my therapy bill and a receipt for the broken game controller. So, uh, where were we? Ah, oh, yes! After finding that giant glowing thing, we brought it all back to Samos's pad. Don't ask me how. Today's the big day, Jack. I hope you are prepared for whatever happens. I think I figured out most of this machine. It interacts somehow with that large precursor ring. I just hope we didn't break anything moving it here to the lab. Easy for you to say. We did all the heavy lifting. Daxter, don't touch anything. Though the precursors vanished long ago, the artifacts they left behind can still do great harm. Or great good, if you figure out how to use them. I've had some experience with such things. I know you can make it work. Looks like Jack still got the mojo. Interesting. It appears to be reading out some preset coordinates. Wow, look at that. Finally, the last rift gate has been opened. Yeah! What are those things? So this is how it happens. <laughs> you cannot hide from me, boy. Do something, Jack! What's this do? Or, or that? How about this one? Everybody press all the buttons. <laughs> what was that thing? Hang on, everyone! I want on this thing! Find yourself, Jack! I swear, that's the last time I ever, ever touch any stupid precursor crap! There he is. Move in. Step away from the animal. Ah! Forget the rat. The Baron wants him. We've been waiting for you. Don't worry, Jack. I'll save you before you know it. Okay, so I got a little sidetracked. I had a few adventures of my own those two years, okay? Don't judge.
Anyway, I got to Jack as soon as I could. You see, Jack was being held by Praxis and Errol in one big, nasty fortress. And I had this thing against torture. It's not for me. Dark Eco Injection Cycle complete. Bio readings nominal and unchanged. Huh. <laughs> Nothing. I was informed that this one might be different. He is surprisingly resistant to your experiments, Baron Praxis. I fear the Dark Warrior program has failed. Uh, you should at least be dead with all the Dark Eco I pumped into you. What now? Metalhead armies are pressing their attacks. Without a new weapon, my men cannot hold them off forever. I will not be remembered as the man who lost this city to those vile creatures! Move forward with a final plan, and finish off this thing tonight. As you wish. I'll be back later. Ding ding! Third floor! Body chains, roach food, torture devices! Hey buddy, you seen any heroes around here? Whoa! What'd they do to you? Jack, it's me! Daxter! That's a fine hello! I've been crawling around in this place, risking my tail, literally, to save you! I've been looking for you for two years! Say something! Just this once! I'm gonna kill Praxis! Shh, shh. Right now, we gotta get you out of here. Uh, Just let me figure out how to open the security locks uh, for your chair so I can... Uh, uh, um, you can do it. Oh, Jack, easy now. Easy, buddy. It's, it's your old pal Daxter, remember? Uh, Daxter. What the heck was that? Sheesh! Remind me not to piss you off. Come on, tall, dark, and gruesome. We're out of here. Clearly, Jack had some anger issues. He was looking to settle the score with Baron Praxis, and it didn't matter who got in his way. Hello, strangers. My name is Kor. May I help? You look like a reasonably smart man. I want information. Where the hell am I? Eh, uh, sorry. He's new to the whole conversation thing. Well, my angry young friend, you are a guest of His Majesty, Baron Praxis, the ruler of glorious Avon City. I was just a guest in the good Baron's prison. Inside a cell or inside the city, walls surround us both. We are all his prisoners. Talk about being in the wrong place at the wrong time. I I'd move on if I were you. By order of His Eminence, the Grand Protector of Haven City, Baron Praxis, everyone in this section is hereby under arrest for suspicion of harboring underground fugitives. Surrender and die! Uh, excuse me, sir. Don't you mean surrender or die? Not in this city. Protect us from these guards, and I'll introduce you to someone who can help you. Did I mention his anger issues? I've seen him do this to the paparazzi. It's not pretty. That was cool! Do it again. Something's happening to me. Something he did. I can't control it. Very impressive. Uh, you okay, Jack? What you just did was very brave. This child is important. This kid? He looks kind of scruffy. You are in a restricted zone. Move along. Thank you for your help, but I must get this boy to safety. Hey! What about us? There is an underground group waging war against Baron Praxis. Its leader, the Shadow, could use fighters like you. Go to the slums. Find a dead-end alley near the city wall. Ask for Torn. He can help you. Unfortunately, this Betty wasn't Torn. But more on her later. Are you Torn? Maybe this guy's a new, like you used to be. New faces make me nervous. Word is you're out to join the fight for this city. You know, picking the wrong side could be unhealthy. We want to see the shadow. <laughs> Not likely. If you want to join something, why don't you and your pet go join the circus? <laughs> Unless you've got the fur for a really tough task. Before we knew it, we were errand boys for the Tattooed Wonder. This was the big league, baby. Now I went to work, doing the tough stuff. Like, uh, 
Testing gravity. Testing the water. Cleaning the pipes. Yes, and Axel was hurt in the filming of this game. I'd had just about enough of these stupid missions, so I decided to give Torn a piece of my mind. Hey, Tattooed Wonder, how come we get all the crappy missions? Because I don't like you. Fair enough. Torn had us take a load of eco ore to his main underworld supplier. Now we were getting connected with the big boys. However, I had no idea how big. You crew? Well, we shook the heat, and your shipment's in primo condition. That's good, eh? Because a cargo of rare eco ore is worth more than ten of your lives. And of course, I'd be forced to collect... slowly. <laughs> the Underground will take anyone with a pulse these days. And what we have here, the Shadow's Mascot of the Month. Ooh. Soft. Zig, this fur would go well with my silk suit, eh? Listen, uh, tons of fun. Anyone can see that you uh, and I have the real juice in this burg. We're both players, right? We're both looking for a piece of the action, right? I think we can do business, right? I'll hire you for a job or two, eh? And just like that, we were working for the crime boss crew. And believe me, it wasn't pretty. Of course, being that huge crew made a great target. It was almost too easy. Everyone wants a piece of me. Lucky for you, there's plenty to go around. The sewers used to be a fabulous smuggling route for me. Before those late night snack runs kept you from fitting out the front door. Oh, Roommeister, have you been exercising? You're looking good. And those legs, they're so, uh, chiseled. Still working for an arms dealer and his muscle sig did have an upside. Guns! The only thing better than fast cars and fast guns are fast baits. Hey, sugar plum, especially this one. You know here? Well, what you got that's uh and wait, I've seen you before. You're with the underground. Shh, I'm Tess. Torn sent me to spy on Crew. Play along, and I may be able to get my hands on a few of Crew's secrets. Ooh, I love undercover work, baby. Not only did I dig this girl's hot moves, she clearly dug mine. What's his problem, eh? I'm just fine. Mind your own business. And despite my uh, vices, <laughs> this girl loved me. Who wouldn't? Oh, Daxter, you're amazing. Yeah, I know. Scratch me there. You're such an animal. Be careful, Angel Cheeks, and your hero will return shortly. Another day, another mission. Torn sent us to rescue some pathetic loser in the strip mine. Ah! Stay back! Do something, Jack! This guy's crazy! Hey, are you Ben? We're here to help. Torn sent us. Stay back! Look, if we were here to kill you, you wouldn't be talking right now! Oh, friendlies? Oh, thank goodness. What, so This what? sack of nerves had one too many jugs of java! Hey, I want to thank you guys for saving my butt out there at the strip mine. And we'd like to thank you for being such a bad shot! Ah, oh, yeah, sorry about that, guys. I'm a bit jumpy these days. Jumpy? We hadn't noticed. Ah! A metalhead behind you! Ah! What the? Who the? What? <laughs> Just kidding. Nice reaction time, though. Not funny! Back at HQ, I was all business, putting on my game faces. One of my old guard comrades was sent to the pumping station. I'm afraid she may need some help. Stop that! This is serious, you moron. Ha! That's right! Don't mess with the sugar. Yeah, what the heck are we doing risking our lives to rescue some old crimson guard hag anyway? She's probably got more facial hair than me. Who the hell are you two? Mm, I do love a woman in uniform. Want to bark some orders at me? Woof, woof. I'm your soldier on the front lines of love. Waiter! 
foxhole for two. Keep talking and I'll raise your voice a couple of octaves. Easy. Torn asked us to help you. I don't need help, but you might. We've got company. This red hot number could fight as tasty as she looked. If I had to get my butt kicked by someone, I would love it to be her. Watching me take care of those metal heads was uh, pretty exciting, wasn't it, Sugar? Hey, sweet stripes! Give me them digits so I can look you up sometime. We'll party hard, big city style. Tell Torn Baron Praxis is planning something big. I think it has to do with that symbol. What is it? It's the seal of the House of Mar, the founder of Haven City. We're being sent out on suicide missions to locate artifacts from the time of his rule. If curiosity's worth dying for, you can ask the blind old soothsayer in the bazaar named Onan. She might know something about all this. Here's my bazaar access security pass. Your name's Ashlyn, huh? We're even now. Wow! What a woman! Arr. We followed Ashlyn's lead and found the world's oldest living fossil, Onan. But this prune wasn't the only clown in the tent. Cool! Check out all the dead stuff! Ow! Punch the goods again, rat boy, and you'll be <laughs> counting with your toes. I am Pecker. Yes, yes, I know. My mother, she was very vindictive. I am Onan's interpreter. Onan welcomes you, blah, 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 the usual boring salutations. Ow! Ow! Let me try! Ah! Uh... She wants a... she wants a yakow bone! A yakow bladder! No! No! I got it! For many moons, she has waited for... a juice pop? A jewel shop? Oh! Oh! I know! She's got a hairball! A hair lip! A hairy chest! Close! But no! Onan had us collect something called the Life Seed. But that loudmouth pecker wouldn't keep his beak shut. Birds. Back off, featherweight! Listen, Tiny Tail, I was leading my hundred flocks south before you had fur one between your legs. Not that your fur means anything. At least I'm not some overstuffed, over-yapping, feather-dusty mouthpiece for the world's oldest professional. Jack says, have a nice day. Jack says, I can't think of my own. Jack says, go bite yourself. That's it, rat boy. Now you've really pissed me off. Knock it off, both of you. You're lucky I'm famished. So Onan continued to finger paint, and Pecker, well, I wanted to give him the bird. We finally made it up to the Baron's palace. Ah, reminds me of my college days, peeping in on the girls' showers. I will have more eco by week's end. We'll transport it directly to your nest, as promised. A deal is of no value if you can't deliver, my dear Baron. I grow impatient with your puny gestures. Give me the agreed upon ego soon, or the deal is off, and your precious city will pay the price. He's toying with us! Let me leave an assault on the nest before it's too late! I can take him! Patience, Commander. No one has ever penetrated the metalhead nest, you know that. Move forward with the plan! Tell Ashland to up her patrols. I want that tomb found. But your daughter has not been agreeable. Yeah, I'll see to that problem, one way or another. Ashlyn is the Baron's daughter? This adventure was turning out to have a few twists and turns. We had to tell Torn and the others pronto. We overheard a secret meeting with the leader of the Metalheads. You saw the Metalhead leader? No, he was on some communicator. But we heard him talking with Baron Praxis. The Baron is bribing the Metalheads with Eco. It will never be enough. But the Baron's gonna double-cross him! Is that so? Expecting that little boy to save us is folly. At his age, he's no match for the Metalhead leader. Oh, Jack. Old Man Kor seemed to know quite a lot about Metalheads. I've seen what Metalheads do when they take a city. The destruction, the killing, the devouring. I saw some of the bigger ones. Awesome creatures. We saw a big one coming out of a rift once. He was ugly! <laughs> you and your sidekick are causing quite a stir in our fight against the Baron. You hear that, Jack? You're the sidekick! 
Hey, uh, Wise and Whiskered, you, uh, got something itching under your robes? They have ointment for that, you know. It's just my aching bones. This stinking city was getting on my nerves. But just when we thought it couldn't get any worse, we had a rude awakening. Is that... is that... No, it couldn't be. That's not... It's Samos' hut. But what? How? When? Where? Why? We're in the future, Dax. This horrible place is our world. Finally, Torn introduced us to the Shadow. So, you're the new recruits who keep getting into trouble. Oh, no, not you! Welcome to our humble underground movement. I am known as the Shadow, but you may call me Samos. And you are? Jeez, Jack, we went through all that to meet His Holiness, Old Log in the Head, Grandpa Green? Don't you know who we are? Sorry, kid, never seen you before. And I never forget a face, especially one that ugly. So it begins. How is this possible? We came through the rift with you. I into the future, right? Yeah! You used to look older than dirt and uglier than a knotted stump. What gives? Did you get a little nip and tuck while we were gone? Listen, boys, I don't know what kind of twigs you've been chewing on, but I don't have time for this. We've got a baron to overthrow, a child heir to protect, an invasion of metalheads to stop, and a city to save. I'd say the schedule's pretty full. And boy, was it ever! We got this gear, like candy from a baby. And this big lens, something's cooking. Mmm, kind of smells like... Burned apple? Here I am testing it. And standard in every adventure game, yes, the always present key. Whoa. Got it. Where would you be without me, eh, Dax? Well, Jack, I probably wouldn't be two feet tall, fuzzy, and running around in a sewer without a pair of pants. God, I miss pants. We did it all for this kid! Everyone thought he was so special. Wearing some royal seal or something. Anyway, with my help, we got the kid to Mars Temple. You did it, Jack. You actually found Mars' tomb. Great. Now what? We send this poor kid into a meat grinder? This is the day I've long awaited to finally hold the fabled precursor stone in my hands. You must be cautious, child. The tests of manhood are sure to be fraught with peril, and Mars' heir must face them alone. It's okay, kid. You can do it. It's just a deep pitch black, sure to be filled with the brim with painful death, old tomb. I wouldn't go in there. Welcome, heir of Mar. Finally, the Chosen One stands before me. Enter and prove yourself worthy to claim the ancient birthright. No. This child is too young to face the tests. What? No! Do something, Jack! Jack, remember the sure to be filled to the brim with painful death part? Faced with certain death, I bravely led Jack into the temple to face the tests. Welcome, young warrior. Today you have proven yourself worthy to receive Ma's legacy. He's talking about me! Thanks, your holy statuness. What you are about to receive contains grave power. Eons ago, the Precursors waged a terrible war with the Horaquan, those dark creatures you refer to as Metalheads. Driven by their dark leader, the Metalhead Legions destroyed our great civilization, and now they swarm the universe unopposed, looking for the last relics of our power. Ma tried to hide the Precursor Stone in this tomb to protect it from them. It is our last hope, and you were chosen to keep that hope alive. I think you've got me confused with someone else. I just want the stone. It is time to fulfill your destiny. Behold. Wow! Let's get the goods. Boom! You brought me right to the stone. Your pitiful underground friends were no match for my guards above. Now I will gain the power I need to crush my enemies. And after claiming the stone, I'll begin with you. Abomination. The Precursor Stone was not meant for you. Nice try, but the stone.
Don't worry. I will use this stone to its full potential. Soon all who oppose me will be destroyed by its power. Let me go on record here. I had nothing to do with this fiasco. Not only did Jack lose the precursor stone, but all of our friends were thrown into prison as well. I can't be without my entourage. Hey there, sweetheart. The metal head masher has saved the day. Oh, and I let Jack tag along too. Oh, my little hero. Samos, are you all right? What took you so long? I added six rings to my trunk waiting for you two to get me out of here. Great Yakow horns! What happened to you, Jack? Wait a minute! You're you! I mean, the other you! I mean, you know what I mean. Yes, it appears I have an older time twin. Great grass grubs. I can't believe what a cranky old log I've become. Two Samos the Sages. Ah, Jack, they're multiplying! We need to find the kid pronto. What are you talking about, old growth? The kid already opened the tomb. Our top priority should be to disrupt the Baron's forces. Oh, look who thinks they've sprouted. If you were half as wise as I am, you'd know that the proper course of action is to find the kid. Listen, you old dried up leaf. I run this outfit, and I say we go after the Baron's forces. Do we have to separate you two? Vin's activating the warp gate. We need to get out of here now. Rumor was, some reclusive mechanic chick at the stadium had the 411 on the Baron. But since she was unable to see my handsome mug from behind her curtain, she was giving us some lip. You must be Crew's new errand boys. Don't you have someone to collect money from or beat up or something? Let me handle this, Jack. Listen, lady. Now, there's just two things you need to know. Wait, that voice. One, we don't want to join your stinking race team. And two, you just lost a date with Orange Lightning. Let's go, Jack. Daxter, it is you. You're a... Oh, I never thought I'd be so glad to see your furry mug. And Jack, you look different. It's been a tough ride. The Baron pumped our boy here full of dark eco, and it did something to him. Now he's got super moves or something. And a few anger issues as well. I've been looking for you guys forever. And planning a way to get us back home. I need to get to the Baron. You could try to win the Class 1 Racing Championship. The winner of that big race always gets to meet the Baron in the palace. To win that race, we had to beat Errol. Oh, Mr. Grumpy Pants. I want more than just to win, Eco Freak. I want you! Greetings, racers! Today, your nerve and skill will be tested for our amusement. If any of you should by some small chance beat our Grand Champion, Harold, then you will be awarded a month's supply of Eco! And a short tour of my palace to see how the other half live. Good luck, and die bravely! Ready, get set! The amazing racer that I am, well, you know how it is. Thank you! Thank you very much! Mwah! I love my public! A brave man of the people. And who is this worthy opponent? Surprise. What? Just a little closer. We need to talk. Fool! Don't you get it? It's over, Jack! All the heroes died long ago. Only survival remains. By whatever means, this city is mine. These lives are mine. This war is mine. And in war, people die. Kill it. Look out! I win, Jack. After them! So we made our escape. 
But there was one last bit of business we had to attend to with our old employer. As usual, we found crew up to no good. I knew you were special when I first met you, Jack. And I commend you for making it this far. We've come a long way, eh? Yeah, I'm getting real teary-eyed. I love weapons. I love how they look, how they feel, even how they smell. I think you need serious help. My favorite was the impossibly powerful weapon Ma built to blast open the metal head nest. Poof, died before he could use it. Ah, well. But I have a new favorite, the piercer bomb I've just completed. My masterpiece is powerful enough to crack open the precursor stone and release the untold energy inside. As soon as the Baron shows up with a stone, we'll hide it in the last shipment of Eco and deliver it to the Metalhead Nest. A surprise dessert, eh? <laughs> Just take this gun upgrade and forget what you saw here. Not this time, crew. I'm through being your hired gun. Then it's war, isn't it? The big boy had to go down. This was too much of a bad thing. Too late to give my notice? Yeah, we quit! The city is already dead! I've sold you all out! <laughs> uh, Jack, I think maybe we should be anywhere else! Just about now! Ashley? We're out of here! What a gooey mess that would have been to clean up. Ashlyn dropped us off, and we were off to find the Baron. But someone beat us to him. Kor, what's going on? I'm sure you know. Deep down in your darkest nightmares. We've met before, remember? Everything's going exactly as planned. <laughs> Now you see, I am my full potential now. So for the last time, give me the precursor stone! If the city must die, then we all die! Ah! I will find that stone if I have to crush this city one brick at a time! The supreme weapon, Jack. And I made you. Still, any leader worth his salt always has his backup plan. Remember, the first rule in making a bomb is to always make two. No! Okay, I'm going in! Man, what a mess of junk in here! All jumbled coils and switches! Should I unhook the blue wire? Wait a minute, Arotzel's colorblind? Let me just break a few more things and see if anything pops loose. Boom! <laughs> gotcha! Like candy from a baby. Once we had the stone, we took it to Mars' old boomstick to blow open the metalhead nest. That was my idea. Precursor stone, gun, nest. Light her up, Padre! <laughs> I eat this! That ought to wake him up. Let's go take care of business. What? You mean go in there? Uh, I'm right behind you. Behind you, in front of you. Let's not split hairs, shall we? I was gonna face him, wasn't I? to join us, and you brought the Precursor Stone. Good. The boy will now play his final part. Not this time. Oh, but this child is such a part of this. Such a part of you. Don't you recognize him? The boy is you, Jack. 
And this place, this is where you began in the future. But how? You were hidden in the past on the hope that you would gain the skills to face me today. But Onan was wrong. Now that you've been altered with Dark Eco, the stone will never open for you. Your younger self, however, still has the pure gift. He alone can awaken the stone and the precursor entity which sleeps inside. This stone is a precursor? The last precursor egg. Ma was clever. He covered his tracks well through time, hiding his last egg from me. But today, I will finally feed on the last precursor life force. Uh, I think you're forgetting one little thing, Metalomaniac. We've got the precursor stone. Not for long. usual bravado, I took it to core big time. Yeah, with a little help from Jack. <laughs> now I've exterminated bugs before, but this big boy was a whopper of a squash. Kira, I'm afraid your Rift Rider must be used to send young Jack here to a place where he will grow up safe from harm. He must become old enough to complete the destiny he has fulfilled today. Wait a minute. It's you. I, I mean, it's me. I have to take him back and watch over him, don't I? Ah, grub roots. Talk about being in the wrong time at the right place. Hey, kid. You take care. Oh, and trust me on this. Stay away from any wumpy nest on your ninth birthday, okay? I sure hope I built this replica right. I don't know if it... It's perfect, Kira. This is the very machine we found, or will find later. What? I just built this. After seeing the first one, I mean. It's based on what I remember from the... Honey, the more you think about it, the more it hurts the head. I'll take good care of the child, and don't worry. I'll be back in time for the celebration. Farewell! Thanks, Samos. Without you... It's funny. The boy won't remember any of this. No. I do remember the light. Welcome to the Naughty Atso, The hippest, happiest, happiest joint in town! Check out the new decor! Ooh, what a big trophy! As if size matters. I bagged that bad boy myself, baby. Onan says she doesn't know who has a bigger head, him or you. We must not forget Vin and all the others who sacrificed their lives to defeat this evil and protect the child. I still can't believe that little boy was me. Better times, huh? You miss him, huh? You know, the kid grows up to be a handsome hero. Hey, that's enough for you, lady. I'm cutting you off. Trust me, she gets real mean when she's like this. What'd she say? Something about rubber tubing and certain parts of your mother. You saved the city and more, my boy. Metalcore and his menace are history, and somewhere out there, an ancient race has begun again. I'm just glad to be back home. Yeah, well, rest up. We've got a lot to do, and so much time to do it here. Don't say time. The rift ring was destroyed, remember? You know, my mama used to read bedtime stories about Mar when she tucked me in. She gave me a nice glass of warm yak cow milk, a little poopsie bear. Bedtime stories? Warm milk? Poopsie bear? Buddy, you just blew your image. I've got a feeling we'll meet Mar someday. He may be closer than you think. You're the designated driver. Oh no, I am done with adventure. Besides, 
You'll tell us before something happens next time, right, Samos? Right, Samos? You never know what the future may hold. Wait. You know something, don't you, Feather Breath? Who? Me? Ah, uh, no. We're just uh, guessing, right, Samos? Hey, tomorrow, only time will tell. No, you're gonna tell right now! Why <laughs> you little child? Why you? Oh, that's my boy. A future awaits. Yeah, we'd won, but the future wasn't pretty. After saving that sorry city's butt, you'd think they'd throw us a parade. Instead, they threw us out! By order of the Grand Council of Haven City. For heinous acts and crimes against the people, you are hereby banished to the wasteland for life. This is a death sentence, Vigor. There must be another way. Your protest was overruled. This dark eco freak is dangerous. Now drop the cargo. This is an outrage. I am outraged beyond words. Although I do have something to say. Not everyone agrees with this ridiculous <laughs> decree. Yeah, we want a recount. Oh, I see you wish to join him. Actually, we are not that outraged. Farewell, Jack. Stay out of the sun. Drink lots of water, if you can find it. Jack? Go back to the city, Dax. I'm sorry. The council is too powerful. There was nothing I... I know. You just stay alive, you hear me? That's an order. Someone will find you. I promise. May the precursors have mercy on you. Dexter! Don't thank me! I'm only here because you wouldn't last a second without me! Okay, tough guy! You got us into this mess! Now you gotta get us out! Ah, what a team we'll make! Let's just get moving. <sighs> but which way? That, that way! That way! Oh, and I suppose you know where you're going, huh? Better than you do, Bent Beak! Uh, let's just move. Right. Good plan, Jack. A nap would be nice. Just a teensy little rest. Ah, this bird is overcooked. <coughs> the bells. Nice flashback storytelling. Report! It's bad. The city's become a battlefield. Mechanized death bots have taken the industrial section, and the surviving metalheads have expanded their hold on the west side. We're losing ground on all fronts. The council's meeting tonight in emergency session. Rumblings about you, Jack. It doesn't look good. They think your friendship with crew helped the metalheads get into the city. You don't believe that, do you? What's in the past is done. Right now, metalheads are assaulting the palace. They're looking for something, and I have no idea. The beautiful palace fell down, its towering, firm, erect glory reduced to a limp pile of debris. They have pills for that, you know. And underneath, we found a mysterious hole going deep into the earth. But we had much bigger problems to deal with. Looks like we found some live ones. <laughs> Barely. Here's the beacon we were picking up. Who gave you this? We'll take them with us. Let's move. I smell a storm coming. Hmm, that's a pretty good schnoz you got there, Sandman. Phew, but at least we were rescued. <sighs> I love water. Oh, yes. It's so good. Desert bad. Well, you've come back from the dead, have you? And my monks were ready to pray for you. I am Damus, King of Spargus. Spargus? Wait, nobody lives outside Haven's walls. Not a whole city. Ah, yes. We are the Forgotten Ones. Haven City's refuse thrown out and left to die. Just as you were. But now that you have been saved, your life belongs to the people of Spargus. And we will use it well, if it's actually worth anything. Hey, 
Hey, that sounds like a bad deal. You are in no position to deal. Out here, everything is either useful or dead weight. Prove yourselves worthy, or the desert will be your grave. So we were sent to the arena to fight and prove our worth. Seems this hard-butt Damus guy liked to watch. And we were the main event. But we had no idea we'd find a loudmouth featherweight opening for the bout. Let's hear it for Jack and his obnoxious fucking animal! Pecker, there you are. Where were you? Demos says I am to be his new counselor. He says my wisdom will serve him well. Oh yeah, and uh, Demos also says that uh, you two are likely to die in the arena today. And he hopes your death is very... Uh... Will you stop that? Demos can talk for himself. He is right. You will most likely die. And yes, Pecker is my new advisor. Unlike you, some people appreciate my talents. It beats working for a living. I saw a few of the fights earlier. Ooh, not a pretty sight. Why, you little... Let the games begin! With my killer training as guidance, Jack and I fought, and fought, and fought some more. Notice how I made it look like Jack did all the work. Genius! We bashed and blasted gladiator style. The crowd loved us. After cooking up some serious whoop ass, we met a big boy who had a lot of girth going on down under. Those were some sweet moves in the arena, boy. But a little more choke, and you would have popped, eh? You talking to me? Yeah, you talking to him? No, I'm conversing with me sweet departed mom. Of course you, you boarhead. You two are from the big smoke, eh? Who's asking? The guy who runs this place. That's who. Cleaver's the name. You blokes stick with me, and I'll take care of you. Cleaver really seemed to like me. He always had that longing look in his eye. Skinned and butted, he'd make a nice treat. However, you can't have much of a relationship with someone uh, who wants to eat you! Isn't it time for you ankle biters naps? <laughs> yeah, whatever. Well, if it isn't the newbies. Keep yapping, Jelly Boy. We'll see who- Bite your bum, rat face, or I'll pound you. Oh, great stink of the precursors. I got two words for you. Toothbrush. Next on the Freakazoid list was this, uh, individual. Nice threads. I didn't know rubber was back in. What are you working on, monk boy? It is none of your concern, animal. Look, coloring book, we've had a hard week. Don't push it. The arena shows all, Dark One. Hate consumes your eyes. Great. Thanks for the tip. It will destroy you, just as these precursors destroyed themselves. It doesn't look like any precursor crap we've seen. These artifacts are an abomination. One fell on the Great Volcano. We sent an expedition to the mountain, but my monks never returned. Ill tidings sing in the wind. I fear the remaking of the world is at hand. I think you've been out in the sun a little too long. Let's go, Jack. You must leave this place. Heroes think they can save the world when they themselves are lost. Hey, I'm the real hero here. You can call me Orange Lightning. Z -z -zing! You may carry the color of our creator's animal, but we have plans to save ourselves. Stay out of our business. Like old face paint was a good judge of color. So I'm orange. I eat a lot of carrots. At least I wasn't a walking rainbow like Kooky Kabuki. Anyhow, Jack and I had an appointment with Mr. Sunshine himself. Damus has a job for us, but I'm no babysitter, so stay out of my way. Jack's not afraid of you. Are you, Jack? If you knew what was happening out here, you'd be afraid, all right. What's going on here? Nothing, your lordship. Just offering Jack some healthy advice. You have a reputation for being rash. Didn't your father ever tell you to pick your battles wisely? I didn't know my father. My point is, sometimes you face your enemy head on, and sometimes you wait until his weakness is revealed. Patience is a warrior's greatest weapon. Do you understand? Well, well, well. Underneath that sandy, rough exterior, it seemed Damus actually had a soft spot. A little pearl. Keeping people alive out here, keeping them full of hope, it can be daunting. I'd say you've made a good life here. You too must make a life, Jack. Take your destiny into your own hands. Look, sand cannot keep a shape by itself. 
but add water, and it becomes malleable. Fate can be such if you add the right element. Eco. <laughs> Our minds think alike. My monks say the world is coming to an end, but I am a survivor. I say we live on long after this world dies. Be ready. You are shaping up to be one of my finest warriors, and I'll need you for the trials ahead. I mustn't lose you, like I lost my son. You had a child? Long ago. But much has been sacrificed in this war so that others could live. Anyway, it matters not. We're having serious trouble with marauders lately. I want you to take a vehicle and hunt down their warrior patrols. Go, and make war your own. Four-wheeling it through the deadly wasteland wasn't what I'd like to call a lazy Sunday drive. But Jack and I got busy taking out the beasties. It was like geriatric park with these old metalheads. These guys had no respect whatsoever for our ride. Boy, were they grumpy. Hey, you'd be grumpy too if you were getting shot in the butt. Metalhead Commander, report! What's happening? If you lost that cargo and you're still alive, I'll kill you myself. I want every dark eco-crystal you can find! Time is short! Did you hear me? Wait, not you. I don't like the sound of your voice. Ha! You sure kicked sand in his face! Oh yeah, that was good. That face looked familiar. Now you're getting paranoid, buddy boy. Come on, Bigfoot, let's get back. This desert gives me the creeps. While we were out there under the scorching sky, a sunburn wasn't the only red thing that showed up. Hey, baby, you thought you'd dump me, huh? I knew you'd be back for some more orange lovin'. Get a good look. It's the last time you get to see it. Ashlyn, what are you doing here? Jack, it's good to see you. Listen, toots, you left us in the desert, so talk to the tail. Cause the whiskers ain't listening. We out, Jack. That beacon you gave me, thanks. I knew Damus would find you. He doesn't miss much in this desert. Jack, your friends need you. I need you. The city threw me out, remember? They can rot for all I care. But what about your- Forget it! Just leave. I have new friends now. So the hero I knew did die in the desert. Or was it long before that? Don't you remember who you are? I'm through saving the world. No means no, toots! Saving the world, schmaving the world. Every time we save it, somebody else screws it up. Anyway, we had better things to do, like searching for loot in some old precursor ruins. Now we're getting somewhere. That's the ticket. And then that crazy monk chick thingy showed up again. I want no excuses. You told me this could be done. Now make it so. But we have so little time. The Daystar approaches. You know what it brings. Unfortunate, yes. We will deal with that as soon as I have full access to the catacombs. Just continue your work, and I'll deal with those idiots in Haven. I promise, you will meet your makers. Why are the catacombs so important? Notice how Jack always asks me the tough questions? I'm the brains of the outfit! If you haven't noticed, luckily the precursors had a few answers. Hey! It's one of those goober-eyed precursor thingies. Greetings, great warrior. Your return brings us great hope. This planet's future is at a critical juncture. The Dark Ones have found your world again, and fate hangs in the balance where the past and the future collide. Do you have any idea what he just said? Speak of the normal language, okay? You will need all the power you can muster to survive this terrible test, Great One. I can handle it! I was talking to the Tall One, Shorty. Hey! Shake into light and receive a power hero. One which will help you reach new places. Places only in your dreams. As if Jack wasn't already weird enough! Now I had to deal with this new tentacly glowing angel dude. Whatever! Jack thinks he's so cool now. Speaking of someone with an inflated image of himself, nice boots. The monks told me you were coming through the Precursor subrails. Interesting, aren't they? 
The precursors used them to build the world countless eons ago. The rail system leads deep into the planet where it's said the Ancient Ones wait to bestow unimaginable powers upon the worthy. I will save the world with that power, just as Ma did. Yeah, you've done a great job so far, letting the Metalheads destroy the palace. Oh, you couldn't be more mistaken, dear boy. We're on a time clock, Jack. That light in the sky, do you know what it is? Our nightmare has found us and the end is coming. I needed quick access to the catacombs below, so I attacked the palace myself. It will be our little secret. Well, you're full of surprises. And you're full of dark eco. You and your rat are an abomination. But I will rid the planet of this scourge soon enough. Pure light will rule the universe, and I will be the bright light that shines to every corner of the world and destroys all shadows! Uh, excuse me, Count Volga. It's Vega! Yeah, whatever. Isn't it kind of nice just to curl up in the shade sometimes? Just chilling it, watching the hot babes prance around in their skimpy little bikinis. You know, just how they jiggle. I get that special tingling feeling in my tail. Enough! We will stop the cleansing of the world with your demise. Behold, I now command the very power of the Ancient One! And this time, the Precursors will not have mercy on you. Haven't we been here before? Jack and Daxter, first adventure, big Precursor robot fight. Remember? Notice how all the bad guys in these adventures do low moves on the ground when we heroes are great at jumping? Yee-hee, <laughs> suckers! We love you, designers! Mwah! Mwah, mwah, mwah! You make us look so good! Say goodnight, black bugs! Anyway, this big boy needed a lesson in manners, so Jack and I opened up class. Nice laser moves, bug eyes. Oh look, more things to jump on. We didn't start this fight, but sure as there's orange hair on my ass anyway, we sure finished it. Oh yeah, the boys are back in town. Let's go topside and see what kind of trouble we can get into. Jack and I had to get to the bottom of what was behind that growing light in the sky everyone was yapping about. If it's in the story, it might be a tad important. Approach the Astro Viewer, Time Warrior. Behold the seed of our destruction. Now the Dark Ones have found your world and are coming to claim it for themselves. Well, I could ruin your whole day! I think this one's bigger than both of us. There is but one hope left. You will find a planetary defense system hidden deep at the core of the planet. There is still a chance to save your world. I hope you are more successful than many planets whose fate has already been closed. Killer Darkmaker ships from space? Planetary defense systems hidden deep in the Earth? Yeesh! Jack was right. This was bigger than the both of us, and we needed help. First step. My old watering hole. Ah, the naughty Otzel. Honey, I'm home. Jack, I never thought I'd see you again. Ashlyn, Ashlyn, this is Jordan. Jack's back in the city. Jack, I knew I could count on you. That new KG leader's probably pissing in his... Wait, someone's jamming the signal. I think... Errol. I live! <laughs> Still fighting for the weak link, eh, Jack? Well, I've had a few enhancements since we last met. Even the metalheads have their biological weakness. But me? I'm pure metal. I'd love to meet you again. We must unite our forces or we're through. You've got to reach us, Jack. We need you to break through and link up with us before it's too late. The KG robots are growing stronger. That floating warp factory of theirs is spitting out more robots every day. We need to assault the KG front. If we can break through their defenses, we may be able to get back to HQ and link up. Care to make some noise, Jack? We're always up for a little rumble. Hey, Dax? Fish in a barrel, baby. Fish in a barrel. So it was up to yours truly to break through. And with a singular moment of complete bravery, 
I managed to reunite us with our buds, all without me suffering a single scratch. Nice moves, my boy. You're the best man we've got to lead an expedition into the catacombs. Please, please, let us not be too hasty. Are you sure you want this dark ego freak contaminating the hallowed halls of our glorious precursors? I should lead the expedition myself. We're tired of your scheming, Vigor. I've got the answer you're looking for. My precursor monks have given me the knowledge to turn on the planetary defense grid. If you beg me to do so. Jack's always gotten us through thick and thin. I'm with him. Here, here! You washed up, Vegan! Vega! It's Vega, you idiot! Whatever! Count Vega, I hereby dissolve the city council and strip you of your title, command, and all privileges. Now get out of my sight. What? How dare you! I offered you mercy, but now you will all burn in the precursor fires of creation! I swear it. That floating war factory has got to be shut down. You up for some action, Jack? Look who you're talking to. Let's rock and roll, Dax. Can I just interject here that being on Jack's shoulder has meant a sharp increase in my odds of dying? He's always heading to where the worst danger is. Now, if I'd sat on Ashland's soft, downy shoulder, all the adventure I'd have is a nice top-down view of some huge screen readouts. But no! So it was up to us once again to save the world and make our way up to the floating war factory high overhead. It turns out Errol was running the place. He had survived his little eco-explosion in our last adventure and had been rebuilt by his fellow Crimson Bots into something bigger and better than before. With feet like that? Huh? I found some new friends to help me conquer this puny little planet. You're talking to the Dark Makers. It seems my digital self can communicate with these poor, tortured minds quite well. Oh, they're just like you and me, Jack. Well, me at least. They want a home. Someone to call a friend. Destruction of all light ego! Don't fret. You will live to see what I turn this little world into. Maybe a rock, or a floating puddle of slag, or nothing at all! Complete oblivion! So hard to choose. So Jack and I brought it. And swept up the bolt boy and his puny little bots. As you can see, Jack and I can easily take out any robot that boots up. Even cute talking ones that like to clank around. Yeah, that's right. I said it. Robots. Damn, he got away. See you later, Mechanator. Jack, the sky is falling. We took it to that robot goon and kicked his nuts and bolts. Errol got away, but we shut down his robot factory. That's good, but it is troubling to see what Errol is doing. I fear he may be trying to awaken that terrible dark ship before we can destroy it. Onan says the Precursors and Dark Makers have fought over worlds for as long as time has turned. It would not be the first time a planet was lost to those monsters. Well, it's not gonna be this planet. We've lasted this long. We've just got to find a way to destroy that thing. The truth lies at the bottom of the catacombs. That's where I need to go. As usual, we're headed straight into the danger zone to find Pecker and that dark hole leading into the core of the planet. Where have you been? I've molted three times already just waiting for you. Honan says we must get through the palace ruins, but I think... Uh-oh. Jack, let me just say, before it's all over, riding on your shoulder... Although it is kind of bony and uncomfortable. Well, you've been a good pal. You too, Dax. These adventures, they've been great. Someone called for an army. But you're a long way from the desert. I thought you said a smart warrior never takes his opponent head on. That depends on how hard your skull is. I'd say you and I are both rather headstrong. 
Let's finish this. Now this is the bling, baby. Rolling with my homies in our cool, tricked-out, fully loaded SUV. Sporting quad traction, 30-inch rubber pies, leather seats, killer sound, and of course weapons to clear away the freeway gridlock. Yeah! Driving, kid. It was a good fight. <coughs> and a good day to die. I'm very proud to have been by your side in the end. <coughs> this world is not yet out of heroes. We did well together. Don't move, Al. Please, promise me one thing. Promise me you'll find my son, Mar. You'll know him when you see this. He's wearing an amulet just like it. A symbol of our lineage with the great House of Mar. <coughs> Save the people, Jack. They need you. And the nominees for acting in a leading heroic role are... Envelope, please? Father. Yes. You were that child. I took you from Damus, hoping to harness your eco powers for my experiments. Then I lost you to the underground. You seem upset. Did I tell you too late? You were the son of the great warrior Damus. Oh, and he never knew. How delightful. Ah! Bigger! Thank you for opening the door to the precursors. Don't worry. I'll be back to put you out of your misery. After him, Jack! You're willing to go down there? Without a fuss this time. Yeah, well, don't get used to it. It's just that nobody hurts my best friend and lives to brag about it. Let's get him! Just for the record, when I said that, I was still a bit groggy from the explosion. But I mean, you know, Jack finding out about his dad... Uh, only after the guy was dead and Damus never knowing that Jack was really his... Stop it! Otzels don't cry. No, sirree. No. Greetings, great warrior. Before it is too late, you must power up the planet's defense system. The ecosphere has begun its energy conversion. It will take some time for the weapon to Proven your worth, warrior. We grant you the gift of evolution. The honor of becoming one of us. Step aside! I will be the one who evolves into a Prakasa. The right is mine! Be careful what you wish for. It is done. Don't worry, Jack. It is for the greater good that I assume this role. Even now, it may be too late. If Errol awakens the dark ship's cargo, all will be lost. Listen, Glowboy. We've been doing all your dirty work while you slept in the stars. So stop it! Inefficient. I told you we needed a backup hero. We should have gone with plan B. Ow! Hey, cut it out! We are unhappy with your performance. If you had been a true hero, you would have stopped Errol by now. No way! Oh, come on! Who thought of this? Oh my god. Yes, well... We are even more angry, and, uh, we order you to avert your eyes, or we will, um... Oh, bother. They look like me? Not what you expected. Yeah, we like get that a lot. Don't look so upset. If you knew we precursors were a bunch of little fuzzy rats, would you worship us? Could we run the universe? 
Not possible, buddy. So we fluff up the myth a bit. And we get the respect we deserve. You idiots! Get down from there and stop defiling that glorious machine! Do not let our size fool you. We are the most powerful beings in the universe. We are? Why does Daxter look like? Ah, yes. All eco contains the source of our essence. Our code, so to speak. When Daxter touched the dark eco, he was actually blessed when he thought he was cursed. Woohoo! I'm a precursor! I'm a precursor! I'm a precursor! Hey! Wait a minute! They have pants! These creatures are the great precursors? And I wanted to evolve into them. No! A little drafty, isn't it? The only way to ensure that Errol will not awaken the ship's cargo is to go there yourself and stop him. We will send you there from here. But the weapon... Chill out, buddy. You should have Mondale minutes to go there and get back here pronto. I mean, way before the... Hopefully before. Ba-boom! Oh, yeah! Let's move. You idiots. I told you we needed a plan B. What they needed was plan D for Daxter. That super weapon we turned on back on the planet was about to blow the ship out of the stars at any moment. And as if that weren't enough, preparing to awaken the whole nest of Dark Maker planet formers was old Sunshine Pants himself. If these nasty things ever wake up, the planet's finished. All of these Dark Makers at my command. Just think what I could do. You're through, Arrow. Even if we both die. Ah! Oh. Jack? Jack! Thanks to us, the planet's defense system fired and hit the dark ship. While we were still aboard! Thanks a lot, little precursor dudes. With all your power and technology, you couldn't manage to put a little delay switch on the super gun? Let's go, Dax. We destroyed the cargo, but Arrow managed to get into one of the planet formers and get away. We did it! Woohoo! Not yet. You all die in my hand. I just won't quit! It's headed for the city. We gotta defend it. For Deimos. The last charge of the Dark and Light Brigade! Let's do it, partner! To the end. Arrow and that leggy planet former were heading straight for the city and our friends! So we decided to dance. Thank goodness Jack had practiced his driving before. Note to Dark Maker designers, don't put the most vulnerable parts of your mechanical beast low and on the feet where we can easily shoot them. Duh! But that's just what we did! Old Leg Iron got a serious case of gas or something. And it came crashing down! But we're still on that ugly birthday cake somewhere. So we needed to get up there and blow out his candles. 
Sure enough, Errol was waiting for us when we climbed up, and thus the last battle with the Nutmeister began. Eh, Jack needed the workout. Give him two to the chest and one to the head, hero boy. We took out his defenses. And then Jack took aim. Oh, come on, you weren't worried, were you? Check out how cool I look walking in slow mo. That's right, hardcore hero, baby. Jack and I rock. What happens in the wasteland stays in the wasteland. Oh yeah, let's get this party started. Thank you, brave people of this planet, Onan, Samos, and all. Your strength and wisdom in these dark times give us reason to fight on. My life's work, it turns out, was spent searching for a bunch of furballs. Onan says it is a great day for the universe. Jack, you are the greatest of heroes. You have turned the tide against the Dark Makers, and together we will win this war. But dude, there are like way more challenges in the future. Ha! <laughs> Or was it the past? Yes, yes, I was getting to that. More adventures? Where have I heard that before? We need heroes like you to help us protect the universe, Jack. Then you can call me by my first name. By what my father called me. Mar. Wait, Jack is Mar? The Mar? Come then, Ma. No time like the present. You coming, Dax? Eh, uh, I got all I need right here, baby. But if you need me, and I know you will, eh, you know where to find me. Oh, Daxter, my little hero. We owe you much, Daxter, for all you've done. For your bravery in the face of incredible danger, we shall grant you your deepest desire. You know, I could really use a snazzy pair of pants, like yours. Wow, those are sharp. I wish I had a pair just like that. Be careful what you wish for. Don't worry, honey. You get used to it. Oh, and you may want to shave some parts. Trust me on that. Hey! Thanks for everything, partner. You are a great hero, Daxter. This is gonna be good! They think I'm a god! And they're right! Our hero! <sighs> This is going to be a long trip. Where do you think you're going, little bugger? I've decided I want my own sidekick, and you've been nominated. We're gonna be a great team. Just don't make me angry. Are you ready, Jack? We have something to show you. What? The universe. Can you believe Jack just took off and left me? After all the adventures we've been through together? Oh, guess not. Or did he? I couldn't leave you, Dax. With all our adventures ahead, you wouldn't last a second without me. Ah, what a team we are! Yeah, well, the next adventure, I call the shots. Put it in, partner. Ha! Say! Oh, yeah. Life is good. Either way, we were back together! Inseparable, bosom buddies, left brain, right brain, yin and yang, the two amigos, the demolition duo, three for three and all because of me. That's right, Jack and Daxter saved the day again. So allow me to sum up. <sighs> Jack 
pushes me into the drink of Dark Eco, on purpose, I think. I turn into a fuzzy otzel. I sacrifice my chance to turn back into a real boy so we can stop Gaul and Maya. Then we find an ancient warp ring, and Jack and company warp forward into the future and find Sandover Village radically changed. It's now a huge city under attack from Metalheads. It's also where Jack came from in the first place. We stop the Baron, crew, and Metalheads and take out Core. Jack's younger self goes back in time to grow safe and sound and eventually meet me, while older Jack and I get thrown into the wasteland. A strange leader named Damus rescues us and teaches us how to be better warriors. It turns out he's Jack's real father. Who knew? Meanwhile, back in the city, Count Vigor tries to become a precursor, but we discover that the Ancient Ones were actually fuzzy creatures that look like me. And they're still around, hiding in the shadows, running the planet. Jack uses their power to warp to the Darkmaker ship and stop Errol from destroying the planet. We destroy the Dark ship and Errol and save the day. We all celebrate my new godlike precursor status and everybody worships the Daxter, as it should be. Dust gets fuzzy. Ooh, I like fuzzy. The precursors leave, Jack stays, the trilogy's over, everyone's happy, and now everyone needs something new to do. I know! How about racing? That would be a ton of fun! This is... Orange Lightning! Calling all cars! Gentlemen and gentle ladies, start your engines! Let the races begin! So what are you waiting for? A hero's work is never done! This is Daxter signing off! Over and out! 10-4! Wilco! Right on! Off the air! Alright, kill the mic already! I'm hungry! Let's go to lunch!